Welcome to this tutorial on Visual Basic 6. Uh, today we're going to just learn a bit about if statements and um, what they're used for. Now, the best way I think is to explain an if statement is with uh, these option buttons here because only one of them only one of them can be clicked at a time. Okay. And we'll put some labels here. Alright, so label 4 will go good. Great. Bad. Awesome. Okay. And we'll add a button. Because what's an application without a button? Okay. So, pretty much all I did here was just put these words here for the reason that it makes it look more like you're having a choice for something instead of just having label 1, 2, 3, and 4. It throws up things a little um, more, well, happy, I guess. Anywho, that's not the reason uh, I'm doing this. So, what we're going to do is if option 1 is true, that means if option 1 so that's the one by awesome, uh, is selected, then, uh, we'll go message box, you have selected option one, else, okay, so that is one if statement, uh, I'll just copy this up here and make it make things go by a bit quicker here. If option 2, you have selected option 2, else, 3 and 4, okay. So if you can't really understand what I'm doing here, it's just speeding things up. If you follow the first if statement, you should be able to do the rest of them no problem at all. Okay, so what this is saying is, if you've selected option 1 and push the button, then a message box will pop up saying that you've selected it. Else, that means um, if you didn't, then something else will happen. Take option 2, or else option 3, or else option 4. Okay. What you're going to want to do after that is to end the if statements. And you got to do it four times because there's four if statements in here. I'm slightly ill, so I'm sorry about these weird noises. Uh, okay, so we'll close that, and then we're going to run it. So see, I've got option 1 selected, we'll push the button. You've selected option 1. 2, you've selected option 2. And we'll go 3, it's option 3. 4 is option 4. Okay. So that taught you a little bit about if statements and how to use option buttons. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.